Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da. I hope it's a The question was asked. Assalamu alaikum, Ustad. I hope this reaches you in good health and iman. I wanted to ask you for some advice concerning a problem I have. Uh, my dream goal in life is to go overseas and seek knowledge and to be of those who devote their lives to knowledge. But I also wanted to make hijrah to the lands of the Muslims as I dislike greatly living in the land of the non-Muslims. The problem is, I know if I'm going to, uh, if I'm given the chance to go overseas and seek knowledge, it would be upon me to come back and help my people, but I wouldn't want to come back. I wanted your advice concerning this and what you advise me to do. Jazakallah khairan. Uh, we, we did have this question prior to this, and I mentioned it, but I was in, <laughs> on, uh, in a situation being on the beach, and it wasn't clear, and uh, there wasn't time to really reflect. But to make it very, very clear, uh, just as advice that you've asked from me, and from my experience, as I mentioned prior to this, that it is not an obligation upon you to come back and give da'wah in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, that is one of the highest things that you can do. So those are both duties of khair and duties that are immense. And probably the best way to put jama bain al khairain you know to to put the two excellent deeds together would be for if that a per, if a person wishes to make hijra that they do so but at the same time they do go back and give dawa when and if they are able to do so so that's probably the best way to do both of those great du duties. As the Prophet Sallallahu said in Ma'mal of Iniyat, وَنَّمَ لِكُلِّ مْرِيَنْ مَنَاوَ فَمَنْ كَانَتْ هِجْتُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِي فَهِجْتُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِي The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Verily, actions are tied to the intention, and everyone shall get that for which he intended. Therefore, he who migrates for Allah and his messenger, then he is migrated for Allah and his messenger. So, we know that our actions that are... Uh, actions are tied to the intentions and so if you intend to do one of those great or both of those great acts of ibadah with the intent the sole intent to please Allah جل, you will have nothing but success regardless of the difficulty and the trials and tribulations that come with it because it's not easy when we look at our a lot of our students and we look at a lot of our and the scholars uh, the path that they chose to seek knowledge and teach the people for many was not an easy path you know and for those who come from other countries to seek knowledge in other lands like Saudi Arabia or Yemen or wherever or Egypt or Mauritania or Morocco wherever they go that you know this requires wealth it requires sacrifice of time and wealth uh, and sometimes their health and sometimes their life and you know many many sacrifices and it's not an easy path and it is a steep path and even when you gain knowledge then are do you have the support to be able to go forward and do it you know because many people don't have support some people have communities behind them some people do not and so there are many things to think about but as far as specifically your question choosing between the two probably this is better directed to uh, the scholars but I want to give you some practical knowledge from a Western perspective of having come overseas <clears throat> and the perspective of many and not just myself because I have experience with hundreds if not thousands probably of uh, of individuals who I've met in my travels making hijra I've met many many people in Yemen who came from America and came from the UK specifically also from Germany from all kind of other countries France a lot of French brothers Indonesians so on and so forth and then those uh, here in Saudi 
And so what I would say is, as the world is spacious, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that the uh, that the, the earth is spacious, but I will say that it's uh, it's not an easy path and it's not for everyone. Not that everyone can has the patience to 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 take that path. Nor are the lands, many of them, if not most of them, are not welcoming and open to you from a variety of perspectives. For one, as, a, as, as entering their countries and technical, you know, to stay in their countries and have legal residence, that's one. Another, another issue to be uh, conscious of is sometimes the people themselves don't really, aren't so welcoming of you. <clears throat> However, if you choose that path, then bi'idhnillah ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll be rewarded by Allah for sure, whether you're successful or not. So that's number one. Number two, I personally prefer the latter, you know, to go, because I really, uh, for, for people to go seek knowledge and come back, because I see some of, I know some very strong students of knowledge that are still here in Sardia, they've lived here forever, and they're not going back to the UK or, you know, not, maybe they will, eventually they will. And going back to America, others, uh, but me, myself, I would prefer, but they, everyone knows their situation differently, that they would be back in the trenches building those communities because we are in desperate need of building communities for the masses of Muslims who are not going to make Hijra nor will be able to make Hijra. So the reality is Muslims are on the ground in non-Muslim lands by, in huge numbers, unlike any, any time in the past in, in history. <clears throat> and the realities are not like they were in, in, pa in the past. So with that being the case, you know, it is a, a, a very excellent thing when we see those brothers and sisters who do go back and can stay on istiqama and teach and benefit their communities. This is imperative. Uh, and we need that. We need more. We don't, you know, people may think that there are a lot, but there really isn't in reality of a lot of du'at and then people's access to du'at. So I believe really there is a responsibility, you know, that if Allah has favored you with that, and as long as it's not a serious danger to your your religion, as in you, you can't practice or you're going to go to jail or be killed or whatever, then... Uh, I do feel there's a responsibility, and even with the limited, the, my experience and my studies, I feel a responsibility to teach, you know, and that's why I do teach by this means, but when I go back, I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses me with the wealth to be able to spend and devote more, much more time to da'wah and getting in these books and going forward and leaving that behind for my soul. Because that is one of the highest things that you can do is to seek knowledge and also share that knowledge. And we know that the best of us is those who learn the Qur'an and teach the Qur'an. As the Prophet ﷺ said, خَيْرَكُمْ مِنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنِ وَعَلَّمَهُ The best of you is those who learn the Qur'an and teach it. And we know that the Prophet ﷺ said, مَنْ صَلَكَ تَرِيكًا يَلْتَلْمَسُهُ بِهِ عَلْمٍ that whenever a law wants good for a person, he gives, uh, he gives him, whoever, whoever traverses the path of knowledge, that Allah, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. So it, it's, it's imperative. So if you can help in your community, even if it's a little bit, even if it's teaching a few people, you don't know the barakah that Allah will bring about from that. So I have always, even when I first left America to go to Yemen and others, my intention from the get-go, and I used to even talk about this with some of the other brothers who were students of knowledge who were also leaving, a lot of them were more on Hijra. And I was I, I never really even considered that. I always considered going back to Seattle and, you know, being a part of Dawa. That's always, but the funny thing is, is a lot of other people returned and I'm still on this side of the world. So we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm and nafi wa raskin tayyib wa amin al-muttaqabbilin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.